Yo, peace up. What's good, man? It's the Naked Truth, man. I just wanted to drop a quick video, man. And, uh, you know, it ain't about nobody in particular, but it's about a situation. And, you know, I don't know what to put out there, what type of word I need to make up or something like that to, you know, to just... For, for 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 black men to stay out for the black men just just at all costs man but we need to make something up man to where we ain't saying i'm about each other particularly but um i did have two things i wanted to bring up today man um one of them was i just came out of the grocery store man and um this person in there, and I call everybody brother, white and black. I put you at that respect level first because, you know, once you come from that, then, you know, I know how to deal with you real good. But, um, so when I say brother, I don't want you to necessarily think I'm talking about a black person. But, um, I seen this brother in, um, in, um, in the store, in a grocery store a while ago, 1,000% just packing. And, you know, I don't, you know, uh, I don't carry a gun. You run up on me with your gun off gate and you're trying to beef with me, you might got me. Um, I guess your, you know, your operation would be to go ahead and do me out then because you got me. And I give you that, because for the most point, you know, you psycho or something wrong, which I pretty much going to never have myself in a situation where somebody is just want to come up, run up on me and smoke me like that. And if I do have myself in a situation out there like that, it's pretty much at that point would be some type of who gets to who first. <laughs> you know, ain't nobody just like, yo, when I see this cat, I'm going to run up on him and, and do this thing. Because I don't have that type of beef. You know, I know what type of situation I'm in. Somebody see my face, they're not thinking like that. And if I did think they was thinking that, then I would have to try to, like I said, maybe if I get to them first, just try to, you know, see what's going on. But anyway, the brother's straight up and down holding the beam. And I just want to know, you know, ask y'all what y'all think about that is I mean because you know I guess if somebody was trying to rob the store you was gonna try to help the store out or something like that but why are you just taking your burner on you you know I seen twice where it could have been my burner if I would have got serious could have been my burner had his back in the situation he just had it in the pocket and had it in the carrier or even so I, I've seen you know men and so forth like that they have it on and if i did want that gun at the time blank them out from the back of the head with the bottle take the gun and then i'm kind of in the control of the whole situation period if you got your gun out where the person can see it and i'm gonna be the aggressor and i already know you got a gun then you kind of put yourself at a, at a, at a, you know, at a um, disadvantage because it would have been best for, for me not to know that you had a gun. But um, if. So if, if you ended up dead. Um, then, you know, uh, you put yourself at a disadvantage. But, you know, my thing would be, why would a person do that? Y'all got to give me some comments down below. I don't even know why. It's kind of like the younger crowd out there and some, you know, I know about the older, scared white man. But why would you carry your... Why 
why would you carry your your gun on you just for GP? Maybe in the car, yeah, I understand that, but like only a person. I personally don't get it. I don't understand it. Um, somebody let me know what's going on. Out there.